Peace, everybody. How are you doing? I am finally going to do another shot glass tray. Here are some dried flowers that I've gotten. Some of them have been dyed, but I believe they were real flowers. That, well, actually, they've been pressed, not dried. So there's a pretty yellow. There's pretty green. And I love all these colors and a very pretty orange and yellow, but I like the pink. I like the flowers, very attracted to it. But let's look at what else I have. I'm gonna put that back. And maybe I have some greenery in here, so I'm checking to see. You can buy um, greenery. I suggest buying some greenery and it looks like I don't have any, but there are some flowers there. It's hard to tell in the light, but they're a little more of a red, uh, you know, like a rusty red. And then if you buy your, um, if you buy your flowers from a certain vendor on Amazon, you will get those tweezers with it. So I recommend buying from them. I have some alcohol there on some toilet paper because I'm not sure where my cotton is. And, you know, when I want to create, I just want to create. I don't want to waste a bunch of time looking for something because I will get extremely frustrated in the process. So um, it's a silicone mold and an epoxy tray or it holds epoxy. Oftentimes, I will start confusing those words, so I just want to let you know in advance. But wipe it out. Um, it's just good for it to be nice and clean in case there was any leftover from the previous time that you used it. It cleans out all the old epoxy or any, you know, any residue that was left. Um, so I highly recommend that. Um, when I cut open these packages, they're all sealed, little individual packages in different colors that you get, which I love. And I will just cut two sides of it, and then I just slide out the entire um, sheet of flowers. These flowers are thick, you guys. The stem on the back of those big flowers is very thick. The daisies even seem to have a little bit um, thicker st stem. You know, um, I'm not sure if that's just the way that it was cut um, and then pressed. But um, if you do end up getting a batch like that, don't worry about it. Just know that they're not going to lie down perfectly flat. But when you start to add the epoxy, everything's going to be fine. Um, what I did find, though, was the baby's breath, you know. So I put the flowers first, right, because that's they're going to be on the front of the tray because this tray is now upside down. So you're going to put everything face down. But what I did find was that the baby's breath floated a little bit. That's probably partially due to the fact that I used a little bit too much um, epoxy resin because I couldn't remember how much I used and I hadn't written it down. It's good to keep a journal, write down what works for you with your trays. Um, and I started to do that and then sometimes, you know, I just don't do it. But, um, the baby's breath did float a little bit. I don't know if it's because it was on a thick flower, so it wasn't maybe um, anchored down as much as it could have been, or if it's because I poured a lot of resin. Everything still works out. The tray turns out lovely, but um, you know I do a two-step process. So I do the first step with um, clear epoxy resin 
and then I do a second step where I have a color behind it to back it up. Now, you don't have to do every tray like that. I have done trays where I'm just doing one coat. But with the flowers, I love to have that background color. So that is my plan in this particular application. As you can see, I'm starting with the biggest flowers and I put the largest flower in the neck of the tray. That's gonna be your widest spot. So if you have a big flower, um, I would suggest starting there. I always try to do that one and then I like to anchor the bottom of the tray. Um, I suggest putting a good size flower at the bottom of the tray as well, as opposed to maybe having um, bigger flowers in other areas and then having smaller flowers at the bottom. That's just my personal preference, so I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, but you know, you can do it any way that you want. I'm just going to tell you what works for me when I make them. And if you do it the way that I do it, it's going to turn out the same way. And man, they are awesome. Um, friends and family will love getting them as gifts. And you know, you can also sell them if you choose to. Now this flower here, it didn't really make much difference as to what side, side that I chose to put face down, but oftentimes there is a better side. So always take a look um, at both sides to determine which one you think is gonna look better. And just remember, the side that looks the best goes face down because you're basically working at it in, from an upside down angle, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. And I love these little flowers. They're nice and thin, pressed really well, and they look like little butterflies and just a very pretty color. You could combine those with um, different colors. And as you can see, it's kind of going up the side a little bit. And that always looks really cool to see in the tray too. It gives it a little bit of dimension.
This is probably the most delicate part is working with the baby's breath. That's what I call it. It comes on these long stems and the way that they pack it, sometimes they almost seems like it's going to, you know, like you can't be rough with it. You gotta be careful. So I break apart a side there and then you can see it's got that really long stem, which is not necessary. So I'm just gonna break it off and um, there'll be little nodes where you can break it off. Um, and oftentimes it almost doesn't matter what side the baby's breath is laid down, but I still would take a look at it. Um, and uh, you can break it down into different pieces. Sometimes um, one of them will come off or maybe you'll have a stem, you know, uh, uh, coming off of one side, you can carefully break that off. If your flower comes off, you can just pick up your flower and set it into the tray. Um, and don't get discouraged uh, if you have trouble with it. Um, you'll get the hang of it. But I do want to say that the tweezers really help in um, picking things up and, you know, you can hold on to it one piece and then kind of gently pull it apart. Okay, so I've got one little spot there. I'm running out of flowers, so I'm just going to go ahead and fill that in. And um, I do check both sides, even though sometimes it doesn't necessarily matter. Oh, there's Moo meowing in the background. You guys know my little kitties. He got neutered today, and so I'm not letting him go outside, so he's a bit upset because I don't want him to get an infection, right? That's the last thing we need. Poor little Moo. Anyway, I make use of the flowers and I will use um, just about all of them. Um, you can also use your scissors if you need to snip an edge off. So just know you can always do that if, um, if you're not able to, um, you know, take part of the stem off. Okay, it's looking good, and I think we are ready for the next step. Now I'm debating how much epoxy resin do I need to put in there? And, of course, I haven't made one, I don't think, you guys, since 2020. At least not a flower one since 2020. So I decide that I'm going to use five ounces of epoxy resin and it's a bit much so just remember you only need to use four ounces to begin with and then you'll use two ounces for your second step and I said I didn't know if I wanted to put the red in there with the flowers with the red and pink or if I wanted to do the pink so then I've been thinking about it for a few days, you know, with the black, okay, with the black going over it. So I'm actually going to put just a little bit of both. <laughs> so that's my solution. 
and it should be really pretty. Now I could put a white background that would lighten it up a lot, but I think a black background is going to be kind of sexy. So I like sexy. Right, ladies, we like sexy. Okay, a couple bubbles came up to the, oh yeah, still real gooey. See that? Real gooey. Whoops. I'll just leave the stick in there and I'll turn off the camera for a couple minutes until it gets heated up. So, um, oh God, can't even see it. God, I'm so, so sorry, you guys. Jesus Christ. Oh, I just got home from work a little while ago. What's the best? There. Okay, so I still have these boogers on. These are sticky icky right here. Um, may have to put this back on to hold the cup, but I'm thinking I don't want to get this resin stuff all over here. So bring this up close. Okay, this is the red. I'm going to put a little bit of red. Um, it's easy to put in too much when you just shake it. So, actually, I think what I'm going to do is just take this little doodad out. Because it's very short. Okay, use one of these little things. Okay, so this has got a small glitter and large glitter. glitter. Can you guys see it good? I hope you can see it. Okay, one. Another one, two. That's the red. Looks really pretty. I don't know. Maybe that's not enough. Maybe a little bit more. Three. Okay. There's three. We don't, I wanted to give a little bit of shimmer, but I don't want to detract a lot from the beautiful flowers because the flowers against the black are going to look gorgeous. If you've seen any of the other ones I've done, uh, if you look under my list of epoxy pours or shot glass trays and epoxy pours, I have one in there that I do with flowers and I do the black background. Okay, and then there's the pink, which is just going to look lovely with that beautiful pink flower. Okay, and then we'll do another one of that. It's just kind of resting on the top, so I don't think it's going to be... Um, a lot. Actually, I'm just going to put on a fresh glove. I'll just put on a fresh glove because I don't want those gloves getting everything messy. Okay, so let's just stir it on up. Stir it up. Little darling, stir it up. Pretty, huh? What you think? What you think? Pretty cool. So, this is just going to be the first coat. As you know, I do it in two coats because I can't put the background on now because it will just envelop the flowers and just won't look pretty. So, it's a two-step process with the epoxy and... I'd say that's looking pretty good, huh? I think that's going to look real pretty with that. It almost seems like more pink and just a little bit of red, so I think it'll be great. All right. So, one thing I do um, when I pour this stuff is I get... I kind of squat down and get kind of even with it so I can see what I'm doing. I try to go around here first. Of course, you don't want to go over that. 
and I'm not going to go over these, so I'm not going to pour over it. I'm just going to be pouring around it because this I'm going to want the black background or whatever color I choose. I'm pretty sure it's going to be black. Apologize that I am, well, I'm a lefty, but I'm pouring with my right hand now. So I like to do that first. And then it kind of starts to self-level. Okay, let's see. What did I do here? Oh, got that in the way. Okay, now I'm going to come down here. Pour it. Pour it on down like that. Oops. Pour it on through there. <gasps> did that thing I said I don't want to do. I think I can scrape it. I don't want to have any epoxy on there. Don't want that on there at all. No, no, babies, no. No, you mustn't. You mustn't do that. Okay. It's a lot. It's going to take it, I think, right up to the edge. I think the black is just going to be a thin layer. So I'm going to have to make a note to myself about that. Take my time here. Just take your time and then we'll be getting the bubbles out. I see a little tiny flower floating around. It's rather cute. Okay, now. What I am noticing, let's see. Might be a little bit, eh, it's pretty good. Okay, now this little baby's floating, see? Letting a little bit, aren't you? You need to go down there, my love. You need to go down there. So it started to float. So if you have a flower that starts to float up, you can kind of push it down. That little baby started floating. Push it down. Try to get it saturated. Now this looks like it might start to go over the top a little bit. And I didn't want it to. And see how much I have. In fact, I wonder if I have enough to just do the whole darn thing. Dang. It's been a while since I did these, you guys, so it may start to encroach. It looks like it's going to start to encroach. Yep, it is. Look at it. We're having a flood now. We're having a flood. It's flooding over. Well, I am not going to sacrifice this epoxy, so I guess we will have a little bit a little bit of the epoxy going over um, the part that says a shot glass. So maybe that's going to look real pretty because then you will see some. It'll probably just be really nice because you will see some of the, um, what do you want to call it? You know, some of the sparkle. And then the black will be in the background. So let's see. Okay, now we're going over here like this. I'm just going to be real slow and methodical about it. And then this takes 24 hours to dry, so then when I come home from work tomorrow night, it should be dry. So I should have done, what did I do? How much did I do? I did five ounces. So I really should have done maybe four ounces. And then I'm going to pop the bubbles here in a minute. But at least I did. Maybe the five is good because at least I did enough to cover the whole thing. What I would hate to have happen would be to not 
be able to cover the bottom of where it says give it your best shot. That would really bother me because then it would look a little bit funky. Let's see, okay, that's all covered there. Make sure it's covered right here. Looks as if it's not quite covered. Okay, let me give it a good, nice little scrape here. Nice little scrape down. Oh yeah, it's not quite covered there, so. There we go. On down you go, baby. On down you go, just like that. This is an extra cup because I used it in the water, so I can put that back with my other cups. These are dirty gloves, and this is dirty. The sooner you get better, a bit, bit of this stuff, the better. Uh, the better, baby. Okay, there we go. And looks like I had a little boo boo there. 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 Oh, quite a few over here. Look at one thing that's good about the silicone is you can peel them off afterwards, but it's not super, well, maybe it is to other people. It's not, it's not super easy like everybody says it is. Okay, and that's ready to go into a plastic bag, and let me get my torch. Take this off, and then it's just a matter of letting it cure. So I'll get a box and put a box over this, open up my window a little bit, and just let it cure for the night. Where is my torch? You can get jewelry resin that cures really fast and use a UV light if you so choose. Um, I don't do any jewelry, therefore I'm not going to do it. Be careful about popping your bubbles here because it's easy to light up your silicone. So just kind of do it in phases. Yeah, I see some bubbles popping. I don't know if you guys see it. But I could see them popping. Um, and you can end up having these little air bubbles that come up. So, good to check it. Probably good for me to check it in another, I don't know, 15 minutes or so maybe. Okay, now here's something I do see right here. It's bothering me. Those dried flowers right there, they moved. These dry flowers right here, they just came up here in a big clump. They said, wait, we're moving up. We're moving uptown, baby. We are moving uptown, and I'm saying, no, you're not. So do look out for that. It's all fixable, though. A little bit heavy. Wow, they just were like, hey, see, look at that. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. They're stuck together a little bit right there. So let's see if I can pull them apart. Oh my gosh. I've never had this happen. There you go. You can stay up there. And now you. You, my love. You're going to go right You're kind of mixing in right there. We'll just stick you right over here like that. I'll stick you right there. And I don't think it'll move because I'm not um, pouring anymore. Okay. This little flower too. She decided to pop up. You just decided to make your way to the top too, didn't you? Just come right down there. There you go. Everybody's doing a little floating, floating. Doing a little floaty. 
And that sounds bad. <laughs> Sounds bad. Okay, let's see. And maybe a couple little flowers right here. Now remember the stems that are behind the flower, not gonna see it once everything's all lined up. Okay, so you're not gonna see that stem right there. This one, I really wanna kinda pull it out just a little bit. Get up there, baby, a little bit thick. Yeah, there you go, just like that. I'm not going to try to scrape that on anything. Okay. I'll bring you down and show you how it looks in here, too. All right. Popping, popping, popping. Okay. Looking good. Looking really good. Okay. Let me bring you down and show you guys. Oh. Ooh, what's that right there? What's this right here? A little divot. A, li a divot, my lovelace. A little divot. Let's kind of fill that up a little bit. There you go. Let's bring it over here a little. Yeah, we don't want that. We don't want that, do we? No, we don't. Okay. Always good to take a look through the camera. Okay, let's take a look now and see. Oh, the light's right there on it. We don't lock that, do we? Of course we don't lock it. No, we don't. Bring it around like that. Is the light still on it? A little bit better, huh? A little bit better. Okay. I'll bring you down now. Don't get seasick while I'm bringing you down. shadow. What? I gotta figure it out. I gotta figure it out while it lives. Okay. There's the end there. And bringing it down. It's like everything's just kind of floating right now. And you can see the pink and a little bit of red. See the stems. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and turn it so you can see the whole thing. And there we go. So that's stage one. Stage one, we have the first epoxy in. Now, the second part is going to be really thin. So I am gonna be thinking about that because I don't want it to look weird. It may not end up being a black background. It just may be something else. But let's let it dry, see how it looks. Um, the shot glass part is fairly clear. Flowers surrounding it. It is going to be real pretty. I'll show you guys tomorrow. And um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm happy to answer. I've made a lot of these. I do them with stones. I've done them with Labradite. I've done them with Jasper. I've done them with uh, Rose Quartz. So they just look good. I've done them with Gold Foil, Floating, and Glitter. But yeah, should be real pretty. Okay. Until we meet again. Hi creators, uh, everything dried, dried really well. A few things floated a little bit kind of up to the top. It's okay if the glitter does it, but you can see a little bit of bump maybe when I hold it like that. I mean, there's not much, but just a little bit. So it does float a little bit. That's why it's good to have room. So doing five ounces was too much. There's hardly any room here for anything. Now I have a little bit of room here and I could leave it except you want your handle strong because you realize you're gonna be putting shot glass trays in it. So, um, and I can't find my gold. Thought about doing gold. I did find my black ink, but I just don't think 
it's going to be enough to really coat it well, if that makes sense. So then it ends up looking grayish, maybe. You know what I mean? So I think what I'm going to do, I've had these colors out looking at and looking at the light pink. I think I'm just going to put a little bit of acrylic paint in two ounces of epoxy and lay it over. And then that way, if it's not quite, because I have to be very thin right here because I've, I've made this too thick for the first layer. So I'm going to go with this. I think it will look best when it dries because it can't be very thick here. And I just feel like I need to thicken up the handle here. So um, I'm going to do that. And then I'll come back and show you guys the final product. And I'll show it to you turned over. But you can even see the sparkle coming through there. It's, it's gorgeous. I mean, it's just, look at that. It's just gorgeous. It's so pretty. And with the shot glasses in it, it's just going to be so fun to um, serve shots like that. Any kind of celebration, right? Pink is always good. Okay, pink and red. Pink and red. So when you see it, it'll have be the final result. And um, yeah, so I'll be back. It's going to be a couple of days. I do work tomorrow, but I am going to go ahead and, and sorry for the shaking. I'm just holding this with my hands. So I'm a little bit saddened that I overfilled that, but I don't want to just put clear in it. I guess I could, but I really kind of like having that solid color underneath. So I'm going to go with the Amsterdam. Of course, it'll just be a tiny tad because when you use acrylic paint, you don't need to use much. What's the color? I don't even know. It says it right there, but I can't read it, not even with my glasses on. So, but it's pretty, pretty pink. Okay, see you shortly. Okay, guys, it's the next night. There's the hot pink that I poured. And... So I'm going to unwrap it for you right now because a lot of people like to see the reveal. And I wish that, God, I need to get some professional lighting in here. I really do. I am sorry that that is not, is that bad? Oh God, then that thing is in the way. I hate that. I hate it when that lamp is in the way. Okay, is that better? But then when I stand over here, I hope I'm not messing with it. Okay, so here we go. So right up to the edge, right, right, okay, wait, right, shit, there we go, right up to that edge, man, check it out, right up to that edge, okay, I mean, and it's okay, but see how you can see the flowers right there, see, I was worried if I use the black that See, it's very thin right there, so you can see that coming through. You can't see it there, so how's it going to be on this side? I don't know. Well, let's find out right now. Oh, gosh, I hope those didn't get lost in there. Okay, let's find out. I always like to start this side first because I let this thing. I'm always afraid of ripping it. So when I do it, I'll start right there. And if it doesn't want to pop out right away, then what I will do is heat it up a little bit. That's coming. Come on, babes. There. Looks good. That looks nice. Okay. Let's see. It's the reveal. Ooh, pretty, pretty. Okay. Oh, a little bit stuck right there. So I'm just going to go around the edges and kind of loosen it up first. Make sure it's all loose. Okay, it is. Okay, let's see. Sometimes this part sticks a little bit. Okay. Ooh la la la. Ooh la la. Okay. Oh, yay. Now, it is cured, but it could bend real easily. So... Here it is there. Oh, look at that. What do you guys think? What y'all thinking? Mm -hmm. 
So it says, I have to turn it this way so you can read it, hopefully. So here it says, give it your best shot. And here's the flowers here. There's that butterfly flower. There's a darker flower. Uh, some of the little, no, that one's showing up. And the fern is showing up. A little bit of blending. Might have been better with a contrast, but fun nonetheless, right? Fun nonetheless. So now I'm going to show you. I'm going to go ahead and put the shot glasses in there. I brought them upstairs to show you because I've had people tell me that they've bought these on Amazon and they didn't have the shot glass. I need to find these so I can show you guys. There we go. See? Do, 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 no more spills. And this has a nice long handle on it, as you can see. So a man can grab it, a woman can grab it, whatever. There you go. Pass them around, pass your shots around. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and bring you down for a close up. Okay, so let's do that now so you guys can see the shimmer. The shimmer. Oops. It's time to see the shimmer. It, oops, sorry. It's time to see it, babies. There you go. What do you think, huh? Do you like? Mm-hmm. You can see the pretty glitter in it. Very pretty. And we've got a solid back. But I would not suggest that much of um, the clear. It does look cool, though. Doesn't that flower look cool in there like that? And you can bring stuff down the sides and up the sides if you want to get creative with that but there we go there it is guys let me know what you think in the comments follow for more i love making these it is a process but oh they are fun i have a shorter paddle style that i can do and i just my finger woo! i have a shorter paddle style i can do and um, we can try that with some flowers and glitter too. So please subscribe, hit that like button. Let me know what you want to see next. Okay. Thanks for joining me. And I will talk to you soon.